All right. So this is the next big thing that I was excited about. And I wanted to call attention to this line. I want this line to thrive, and I'll tell you why. First, we're going to drink on that. I'm thinking about calling this Starburst juice. I don't know, but this shit is good. Oh, man, I love eating the strawberries afterwards. All it is is a fresh time pink lemonade with strawberries and cherries. Woo! Flip your wig, nephew. So anyway, let's do a little something. Let, let, let's, let's do the main Let's do the main thing real quick. And so y'all don't see it, y'all stay tuned. Wait one minute. That was the Kickstarter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. You don't drop all these figures without the possibility of the fucking Batmobile. My favorite, even over the 89 movie, Batman the Animated Series, my hands down favorite Batmobile, bar none. So, with that being said, this line right here, I mean, look at it. Let's go ahead and look. We even got Pennyworth. Now, I saw people doing like reviews. I'll grab a few figures in a minute, but I really want to support this line. This, in my opinion, is a line McFarlane is kind of delicate. There are things that I really, really do not like, and I hope they wing away from those practices. Maybe they were testing the waters, but like, for, I mean, one thing that like, I didn't, I didn't have any of the DC collectibles. And I know somebody pointed out that Robin's cape was not quite like, I know it's supposed to have yellow on it. I didn't even pay no attention to that. But right now, me being a new collector and not being around when that came out, I'm gonna get what I can get. Had to go ahead and pick up Alfred. I might do like Alfred comparisons now that I got a couple of them motherfuckers. But um, so, that Alfred is from the newer line. That Catwoman is not. As a matter of fact, that Catwoman and that Batman came in the, was it like, yeah, it was a four pack and it also had Harley and Joker. <laughs> no, wait a minute, right? No, 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 believe my last. That Catwoman, she came by herself. I picked her up by herself. It was Batman, Bullock for some fucking reason. And then uh, Harley and that Joker. This is the newer Joker. Everyone else is the newer figure. That Two-Face and where's Barbara Gordon? Oh, her big ass head, you can't see her. She's back there. <laughs> She's uh, like, you can even tell by their little plates. But yeah, so anyway, this line definitely got a support. In fact, I was kind of excited. And I wanted to wait for this until I got my Joker mobile. So fucked up thing that happened, which we can't get mad. I couldn't get mad at the lady. I've actually seen one YouTuber in particular. I get it. Sorry, I had to take a little swig. You know when they push shit on uh, the shelf prematurely? Well, McFarlane don't go for that. You, so I had it and I had it pre-ordered. So I canceled it because I really want to support this line. I mean, I want every fucking figure from the animated series, even motherfuckers that were like minuscule and I'll get into it in a minute. But... The box for the Joker Mobile was big as fuck. I mean, it was big. So I was like, yo, like I was like a little kid. Big box, purple, my favorite color. Let's go. I'm scanning and look like a damn fool. She's like, look like I'm, you know, like I'm like, oh, they probably think I'm trying something because it needed like an associate. I'm thinking maybe they think because it was self-checkout that I was bullshit. She's like, we can't sell this until the 16th. I was like, I understand. I wasn't about to sit there and fight. Well, hey, it was put on the shelf. I'm three years old. Give me the goddamn toy. No. Fuck all that. I'm not I'm not doing that. That happened to me before with Batgirl from the uh, 66 line. So from now on, when I see a McFarlane figure on the shelf prematurely, luckily, luckily, let's, let's look at the good side of that, shall we? If NECA did that kind of shit and did, made the street date for what the fucking street date was going to be, there would be a lot more happier people. So that's another thing. I remember somebody commented a long time ago, when has McFarlane ever been great? Uh, motherfucker, that was one of the times. He don't let his shit go out unstreet dated because some motherfucker just wants to fill a hole on the shelf. So, salute to that. I get it when I fucking get it. But anyway, so, um, yeah, this is his Joker. I lo So, look up <laughs> Joker's, what is it, uh, Joker's fave. I want to get that little, that poor fat bastard that he was fucking with. This motherfucker, hold on. <laughs> It had like a stupid tune to it. The dude had like no hair, it had a little curl on his head. So the, the scenario was this, look it up. It's, a, it's even on YouTube, uh, Joker's Favor. So his motherfucker was just driving and you know, dude had road rage. So he cussed out the Joker, not knowing it was the Joker. So this motherfucker pulls up next to him like this with that grin <laughs> and then looks over, dude, 
dude get all hush mouth and shit, you know what I'm saying? Wanna act all stupid and pull off. This poor bastard, he started following him, honking his horn. <laughs> but the funny part, cause the dude was like, if I had two cents, why I? And then that's when the Joker looked. This motherfucker tracked him down in the forest, threw two pennies at him and said, and I quote, there's your two cents. Now, what are you gonna do to me? <laughs> Yo, fucking brilliant. Then at the end, <laughs> the dude fucking snapped, right? And he had like one of Joker's bombs. <laughs> Spoiler alert, but I'm sure we've all seen it. But if you didn't, do yourself a favor and go watch it. Batman animated series, Joker's favor. So, dude runs into Joker in the alley. And the Joker's like, get out of my way. You're a putz or some shit like that. And the dude was fed up. So, he punched him in the stomach and had one of his bombs. And he was like, oh, Charlie, Charlie, you had a busy day. All this running around, all this excitement with... Batman! <laughs> he likes screen Batman's name. So anyway, that shit was funny. So I am all in on this collection. The reason why I bought that up, because I realized me being a Superman fan, the writing was on the wall. I've been a Batman fan forever. And even though it's animated, I know a lot of people will agree. Some people will be like, I disagree. That is the GOAT. The animated series, God rest his soul, that's the GOAT. That is, he evolved in time. Then by the time Justice League Unlimited, the GOAT, the fucking GOAT, hands down, bar none. So why wouldn't I support one of my top five, like American-wise, top three. Animation, period, top five. So fuck yeah, I support this line. Now what I don't like, let me take it down a notch. I know I got all excited. You'll get somebody like the Riddler. I've been wanting this bird. This is my this is my inner eye when I think of the Riddler. It's like perfect, suave, not a dork, not goofy, just like intellectually, like just well, I'll smart your ass and dangerous. Just I just love everything about the animated series. But anyway, thirty dollars. Why? Because it build a figure. Why do we need a build a figure? The only type of build a figures is who I'm about to bring up. Um, but let me let me not get ahead of myself. That Harvey Two Face, that bad girl, it was twenty three dollars. This goes for thirty because of the build a figure piece, which is the Condiment King. Which I remember that episode. They even make fun of him on Young Justice. Stop with that. If they're gonna do something like that, do you? If you watch the show, I forget what it was, but it was an episode with the Joker, and. He was like, it was like some junk trash type of scenario. All I know is he had this big ass robot named Captain Clown. <laughs> and that's why I like, this is my favorite Joker. This is also the GOAT. Why? Because like he was psychotic, but all like, I wish they could redo the animated series exactly as is, but put blood and violence in it. Same Joker, but he actually shoots somebody. That would be the perfect Joker in my opinion. Fucking has me dying laughing, but will actually kill motherfucker. So he was like, you killed Captain Clown. You killed Captain Clown. He put this motherfucker in handcuffs and he had fake hands. He was like, whoops. <laughs> if you watch that shit when you drunk, it's even funnier. But somebody like Captain Clown, I would argue that even Condiment King, no, he was a good build a figure. But they have lockup as a build a figure. And one of the characters that you have to get to get him is that cyborg Batman. That was that was weak. That was real fucking weak. What they should have done, in my opinion, is it was like the Hard Act episode. Give us that female that it was like a two-parter, and it was like a female android. Give us her to finish off the build a figure, because then I'd buy her just to add to the collection. But then give us that Batman robotic head as a pack-in. That's when you, so I mean, yeah, there's little nitpicks there, so, but I can't really like, I can't really talk shit. I mean, I really can't like this, this line is just so beautiful. Look, one of my all time favorites still of this entire line right here, right now is this motherfucker right here. Stiff as all hell. It gives me just what I want because say this were just a statue, I would not want it. I don't know why it's just my brain is just like that. He can't really do, I feel like this is five or six points of articulation, never really counted, don't really care, but he can at least move. 
Now, common sense would be like, if he's just going to stand like this, why do you need him to fucking move? I don't know. I just I just feel like I'm getting more for my money. So at least he can do the splits. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my last video, I did see someone. I see our comments. The next video I do after this is going to be like just talking at y'all. Um, I also wanted to answer a question. The TH, that's that, that's when I'm going to say Tidrium Hanger because I feel like I fucked that name up left and right. And I feel like uh, the end of Rush Hour, he's going to be like, it's Tidrium Hanger, bitch. So I'm going to say TH for short. Um, brought up a good question about the Thundercats. Would I collect it if it were a six inch made by another line? I would like to answer that because I'm then going to roll into like my net, another of my favorite. These are in no particular order, but the Thundercats, but that's neither here nor there. So this is Mr. Freeze and this Scarecrow. Fuck the Chase variant. Like this, this is why I pick and choose. No, this is not the original, but this to me was his peak. I did like the way the Scarecrow looked in the Batman, the new adventures, but if I had to choose, this is my mind's eye. Unless this is another thing I want to appreciate real quick, okay? It's not a trick question. Y'all not going to get it that fast. Maybe some of you will. What do you notice about this entire line? Think of G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Marvel Legends, and then look at this line. What do you notice? Exactly. One reason why the price to me is, is somewhat fair as well. Just I'm just trying to justify a bad habit. This mold is pretty much, in my opinion, not used on anybody else. This mold was for him and any other variant. So jokerize this motherfucker all you want. Do whatever you want. But at least we got this variant. I appreciate that. This brand, like, really, take time. Like, otherwise, we just bitching about everything. Let's Let's celebrate a victory for a minute. This mold, this is the only mold, one and done, unless he recolors it. Hey, recolor, like say he came out with a recolor. I don't mind shit like that. What I hate about recolors that piss me off, not really, but really, is when there's a figure, say there's like, say, okay, for instance, say this was hard to come by, which it wasn't, right? It sells out everywhere. So instead of re-releasing the motherfucker, because you see there's a demand or you just that out of touch with the people, your stockholders are, you give us every other re-fucking color. How about first fulfilling the main motherfucker and then do that recolor and shit? But with things like this, recolor away because these are all plentiful, all plentiful. I mean, they are all on Target.com. So even if they're not in your local store, state-wise, in the, you know, in the United States, you can get all of them. Fun fact also, GameStop is, I mean, you know, COVID is not a thing for them no more. Those whole, the ships are out to sea and shit. No, if you're not finding shit in Target and stuff like that, stop at your local GameStop and then drop in and thank me later. Anyway, yes, none of these other molds. Let's let's take a look at it real quick. This is the newest Joker. This will give me a time to actually look. So let's look and see if he's really reusing a whole lot of this. Looks like yes and no. No. Maybe. All right. I'll give it to him. I surmise that I like this one. And the reason why I'm glad I picked it up, there's more detail in his face. This was in the four pack. I picked it up at Walmart. There, There's so much definition, like, like actual detail in his face. If I could, I would put this head, that little thing on this Joker's body. But that being said, like, take a good look at that face. Like that is like detailed, like different layers this looks like him, but it's it's more flat. I'm not complaining. And if you never got that one and you wanted to just get the Joker, this works just fine as well. But as you see, there's like no depth to his face. Like this is like a sculpt for your ass. Once again, that person who said McFarlane was never great. And if y'all wondering, I did have the uh, seven inch Harley Quinn. I sold that shit just because like, I decided to just go with this scale like when it comes to her. So I already have her over there. This gun came with that one. So I just put it on this one. Gotta think, baby. So, like, that's that's one beauty of, like, having all this shit, like, come together. Right now. So, yeah, none of this shit. But, once again, this line is, I feel like, right at a year, if not less than a year. Not over a year long, right? And with the exception of four of these, because they're just four re-releases. Well... Yeah, five because Catwoman. But you can get Catwoman. 
So it's like they started with that one, and I remember there was a Batman as well. I'm glad I held off on that one because the new, the same Batman that came out when that Catwoman did, let's get y'all a closer look, um, comes out in this wave, and he's still at GameStop. And if he's not there by the time next month comes around, then shit, I just won't be fucking getting him, I guess. But um, yo, this is, I'll be glad when they give us Harvey Bullet because that's also from the new Avengers. They just look like fucking gross. But like, uh, yeah, man. We already got two vehicles, one released, one on the way. This does not need that, but this was, I want to say 40. Even got that little thing right there. And like, once again, it's not much. See, somebody who's really trying to see the negativity, and I fall for that sometimes. We'll just be like, well, they're just $30 lights. Look, come on, man. Call it what you want. Cloth and lights make things a little bit more premium. I'm sorry, I don't make the fucking rules. It just does. And uh, once again, this can say, damn, I just, really, even the back, like, come on, man. Hey, don't get it. Fuck it. Let me be the only motherfucker in the neighborhood with this collection. I'm, I'm good. I don't ever plan on selling this shit. And it don't need that stand. <laughs> oh, damn, I forgot to get the fuck. Anyway, <laughs> do yourself a favor and pick this damn collection up. I'm so serious. Look, I'm about to, um, Go ahead and watch this last episode of X-Men 79 or 96, whatever the fuck it is, 97. <laughs> no, I swear to God, there is no alcohol in this. That's just me. So anyway, fuck it. I'm about to watch X-Men 69. Uh, Jean Grey, Scott, let's go. But anyway, let me know down below. Did y'all get any of these? Are y'all against this because y'all like, nah, fuck that collection. I don't like the way they set up. Or are you just doing like the McFarlane six inch? And I really prefer this because the spacing like i can get large multiple large vehicles and the space as well i did a video if you didn't see it i do like these as well but i love them both like man like dude thank you mcfarlane like shit like th this is one line you ain't really fucked up on yet let's keep it going so until later hoo yeah.